how to attempt the examination what you should do in the last days of your preparation so at the last time what you need to do is so i friend this is amit and you are watching my channel information and educational videos so here i am going to discuss about the vit triple e examination as it is scheduled to start from 17 so here i would like to provide you the complete strategy how to attempt the examination and if your exam in is in the later day that is on 20 21st or 22nd 23rd then what you should do in the last days of your preparation so everything will be discussed here many students were asking me to make the video about vit triple e so here i am going to provide you the complete information there is only one phase of vit exam there is no second phase like a triple e and manipal so please be careful about this and also be careful if you have got good result in jmain that doesn't mean here you will get the good result even if you have not done vit triple e preparation because in vit triple e preparation you need to have a different mindset uh, that's why i have provided lots of guidance to the student who are registered with my guidance and they are ready for the vit triple e but now as your examination is there so i am here to give you some inputs so that you will get at least 10 to 20 marks more than whatever you are expecting now through the mock test or your practice so important thing is that at the last time what you need to do is just try to repeat the thing whatever you have studied try to solve maximum question because here the key of uh, vit is that you have to solve the question at very fast rate so, so uh, for that only uh, one thing will help you that is practice of maximum question and for aptitude and english if you are from english medium or cbc board then it is very easy for you you will get it just try to watch out one short video about the aptitude or english then you will surely get 15 out of 15 but the thing is what you will do in the examination so once you reach the center just think that whatever i have stated i will just attempt only those questions you also know there is no negative mark but here i would like to reveal very important thing please try to listen my word very carefully because in vit triple e what happens is even if you score more marks you will get less rank and some student will score same marks but they will get better rank than you this happens because suppose you got 50 marks by attempting 100 questions that is 50 question is wrong and some other students have got 60 marks by attempting only 60 questions so they will have very good rank as compared to you this is a very important data please try to keep in your mind and this is a very important information you will not get in anywhere but internally they calculate it because there is no negative marking so they obviously will take this as a as a reference to decide the rank and also one more question about the result of vit triple e is that how they provide rank directly uh, because there is different shapes or different difficulty of the paper so what happens is there they will do internally normalization that is percentile they calculate internally and then they provide the rank directly like the j means you also know in different shape different difficulties there so they first try to get the percentile percentile is nothing but to just normalize the different thing because your competition will be with the student who appeared in your shift only because that is the benchmark because in that uh, shift or uh, question we are same and the students are different but in different shift different question is there so in some uh, easy shift a student will get more marks some hard shift a student will get, will get easy marks so how it is a justice for the student so that's why they do normalization so even if you will score more marks if a paper will be easy like jmain that you may get the bad rank as well at very high marks so this was about the technical thing now come to the exam attempt strategy that is how to attempt the exam so first start with the subject that is very easy for you uh, that is chemistry physics math whatever you want and then try to solve the question while solving the question first try to select the questions that are from the topic that you have already studied so please try to listen my words again that is please try to select the question that are from your a study chapter whatever you are studying at your home try to write those question number in the rough paper that they will provide to you at the center and then try to solve all those questions that is for a part per subject then repeat same for other two subject as well and then go for aptitude and uh, english as well after that if you have some time think that whether i have got the mark that i have decided at the home that i need to get 100 marks i need to get 70 marks if you are getting then no need to do guessing works even if there is no negative marking but if you will do wrong that will have the effect on your rank but obviously many of you will be taking because there is no negative marking but here it is my duty to inform you about everything later you will be telling that vit have done scam vit have done this that so no one will listen that time so please try to be very careful 
So this was about the strategy regarding the VIT triple E exams and how you need to appear in the examination. What are the uh, term and condition of the ranking system? Everything I have discussed and also I have discussed what you need to do at the last time of your preparation. So thanks again for watching this video. Please try to subscribe the channel and if you want the complete guidance of your VIT college selection process, I will be providing you that as I am doing it from last five years. If you want, you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number. Available in the description box. Thank you.